Welcome back guys. Let's resume with our CSS tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss about CSS positioning. So uh, CSS positioning is basically this concept which is used to uh, maneuver or change the properties related to the positional behavior of an element on a web page. So basically, if you want your element to be placed in one way or another, you're going to play with its position property. Okay, so let's see how this positioning works with a demo. So we are back on sublime text. To get this idea, we are creating a new file and we are saving it as position demo dot html. Let's quickly add the html tags and the head tag and the title tag which will say positioning tutorial and let's create a body tag in our case uh, for this particular example we are going to take two elements one will be an h1 which will say css positioning tutorial and the second one will be a paragraph text uh, tag which will say this is the text to look upon uh, we are going to uh, do one more thing that is we are going to put this text into a span tag so i guess we haven't used span before so what is a span tag span tag is basically an inline html tag which is used so that we can style our inline elements what does it mean let's take an example suppose this is the paragraph and we want this this whole paragraph should have a font color of black but we want that this particular word text should have a font color of red so how do you do it the answer is using span tags what you will do is you will create an id and give it a name say sample and using this id you will style this particular element in your css file simple right so this is uh, what span is used for so now uh, now that you get the understanding of span text or span tags let's uh, go back to our css positioning tutorial now what we are going to do is we are going to our css file but before that we are saving it let's go to our um, css file and over here i'm going to write two lines of code that is the first one is position static and the second is top 20 pixels save what i have done is i have created a position property and have given it a value of static for this particular element text okay so let's go to the screen and let's see how things look so as you can see it's normal right nothing changes the reason is that you have assigned a value of static to its position property hence the element has been positions positioned statically okay now let's do one thing let's change the value from static to relative and let's save the file and let's go and reload okay again nothing changed the reason is okay it's a huge mistake uh, what we have to do is first of all we have to link the css file css style dot css i'm really sorry for this save let's go to style dot css control z and let's keep it static save and reload okay uh, so the other styles are also applied but you get the idea that nothing changes in the word text it appears as if it's a part of this particular paragraph same as the normal scenario but what will happen if we change static to relative let's save and reload and now you can see the text the word text has shifted 20 pixels below the paragraph tag because you have assigned a css property of top 20 pixels right you can also give it a property of left save reload and as you can see now it has shifted to the right side of the screen 
So this is what relative does. Relatives basically takes your inline element out of its uh, current element and now you can easily change the positioning of that particular element. Okay. So now that you are familiar with uh, relative, let's change it to absolute. Okay. And let's save. In fact, let's remove this left property and just save it. And once we reload, see what happened. Uh, what happened is the word actually got a positioning of absolute. So now it's not a part of the paragraph tag. It's completely on its own. Okay. And it's absolute to the origin, which is this point top left side of the screen. Okay. So now if we'll apply top 20 pixels, save, reload. Now, if you can see the text is over here and the top from 20 pixel, it's taking from the top of the screen and not from this paragraph. So this is the main difference between relative positioning and absolute positioning. You are giving it an absolute value, which means it's absolute to the parent screen, the parent screen size and not to the parent element, which is the paragraph text tag in this case. Okay. Well, last property value that I would like to discuss with you guys is static uh, is done. So we are going to discuss fixed. So what is fixed? Fixed is a very special kind of property uh, where what will happen is the element will be fixed on the screen and even if you scroll the page that element won't move you have you must have seen this kind of behavior uh, in a lot of websites uh, like flipkart or even in facebook where certain sections of your web page remain static even if you scroll the web page okay so let's do one thing let's create a long text uh, so that we can scroll okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lipson and i'm copying some text and I'm pasting it in a paragraph. I'm creating a new paragraph tag and I'm pasting it like 10, 15 times so that I get a long page. Save. Let's go back to our uh, web page and reload. Uh, we can do one more thing uh, for visibility reasons. Uh, we can do this. We can add a color of um, say white and we can also increase the font size to say 16 pixels that would be nice let's save this uh, file and let's reload and now you can see this is your text and now if i scroll the whole page even though all of the content is scrolling the text appears where it was constantly so this is what a fixed positioning can do okay